Hi, I'm Jeremiah Prophet. And I'm Shanda Prophet. And welcome to another episode of Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. In this episode, I'm going to talk about this Land Cruiser. And I am going to talk about this one. But first, we're going to go in the shop and I'm going to show you all of the cool things that we've been working on for the last few months, including the addition to the shop, which has enabled us to hire several new people who are all in there cranking away. So let's do this. One of the rooms we added in our recent construction project was this showroom. It gives the Bill Spang crawler a nice place to rest before it hits the rocks at Cruise Moab. It also happens to be probably my favorite room in the whole place. All of this new construction on the front of the shop is just directly adjacent to the break room and our reception area. We also added an office, and even though Chandra said that the showroom was her favorite, I know she likes the office better. Before this, she had to do all of her work on one little corner of my desk, and trust me, that was not pleasant for me. So the showroom and office are really cool, but the real practical addition to the shop's in the back. Let's make our way back there, see what we've got going on on the way. So this is a 1969 FJ40, and as you can tell, it's a body off restoration. We got a 3FE and an H55F in the frame here, getting ready to accept this tub, and it's just about all ready to go. This is gonna be one of the nicest FJ40s we've ever built. And here's another 79 built for our good friend out of Saratoga, Wyoming. I'm Jordy, and I just started working here at Profits, and I'm super excited to be modifying these awesome, awesome Land Cruisers. Perfect. What, what do you like about Land Cruisers? How tough they are. They're the toughest trucks on the planet. Here we've got an ultra rare 1983 FJ40, and it's here for some rust repair and a minor restoration. Also an FJ60 for a mechanical rebuild. Lots of cool stuff happening here. Hi, I'm Clinton. Uh, I've been here since the end of, what, September, I guess, so I'm working on a fuel door, and I don't know, I love working here. It's a lot of fun. Get to make neat stuff. And Clint is a metal master. <laughs> <laughs> this is Frozen Butter Yellow, a really cool and highly custom restoration for a fellow in California. As you can see on the frame, he's using a Ramjet 350 and NV4500, spring over axle, and all sorts of other custom goodies. Hey, I'm Robert. I'm just about a guy. I just started here. It looks like a great organization, great place, nicely clean shop, well organized. At least that's what I can tell right now. He's not just great. a body guy. He's a very good body guy. Hi, I'm Mason. And my favorite dinosaur is Velociraptor. <laughs> Are Land Cruisers like Velociraptors? They're a little the same. They're both in the dinosaur class. However, Dinosaur Raptor will actually eat you. But Land Cruisers won't eat you. No, no. They'll make it look real good. But what if you crash Land Cruiser? Does it eat you then? Possibly. So it does eat you? We need some research this. I'm not sure. I don't want to give an answer because I don't know. I know who we can ask. Who's that? We'll ask Eddie. We're interrupting you. Mason said that a Land Cruiser is a lot like a Velociraptor and the conversation was if it crashes, does it eat you? So as the only person in the shop who has crashed a Land Cruiser, <laughs> what happened? Did it eat you? Uh, it did not eat me. <laughs> All right. Did it hurt? No, it didn't hurt. What was the structural integrity of the Land Cruiser after you crashed it? We drove it out, it was great. We ended the last video in this room, but this room is where the magic happens to make these Land Cruisers beautiful. Speaking of beautiful Land Cruisers, let's take a look at our two latest. So this is one of the Land Cruisers we're gonna to feature today. This is a 1977 FJ40 and it belongs to a super cool customer. This restoration is a stage two plus. 
The difference between a stage two and a stage two plus is that we actually did remove the body. We didn't completely disassemble the axles and springs and all of the things on the frame, but the frame needed powder coating and the underside of the body needed treated because it was a brand new body from Aqualoo. Aqualoo is a company that makes aluminum bodies for Land Cruisers and other vehicles in Canada. And they have a great product. Occasionally we use them on our restorations. So let's check out what this restoration's got. This Land Cruiser has just the right amount of custom details to keep it mostly Toyota, but make it as functional as possible. The customer elected to keep the original 2F and 4 speed, and that's sitting on top of a 2.5 inch lift with our shackle reversal. The Land Cruiser also has power steering. On the outside, we added one of our front bumpers and a worn Xeon winch, as well as one of our rear bumpers with dual swing outs. To monitor the engine, we've set this vehicle up with a set of Dakota Digital HDX gauges, which are spectacular. We've also installed custom seats to give the driver and passenger a lot more legroom. Aqualoo aluminum tubs, if installed properly, can still give an FJ40 a very original exterior look. In this Land Cruiser, you can barely tell that an Aqualoo tub has been installed. This is, this is Travis. Travis is like the Land Cruiser delivery man. He, he, <laughs> he brings them and takes them and brings them and takes them. How many Land Cruisers have you brought and taken from here? Uh, I'm working on probably 20, 20, probably over 20 at this point. All right, sweet. And you've been and, to, in the last six months. Yeah, yeah. Not even, you've been to? Pennsylvania, Texas, uh, California, Colorado, a lot of Colorado. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So. Well, he's picking up two. Taking them to Denver, and then you'll be back, right? No, California. Pick, yep. pick up two, bring them back. That's right. Be back in four days. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Woohoo! What would we do without Travis? <laughs> what would I do without you guys? Yeah. <laughs> this is one of our signature Stage Three body off restorations. It's a 1978 FJ40, and we have redone the entire vehicle. We completely rebuilt the original 2F engine, the transmission, T case, and the front and rear differentials. Cosmetically, the body was completely restored using a three-quarter tub from our partners at Cool Cruisers of Texas. With this level of restoration, we pay attention to every detail. Every nut, bolt, fastener, clip, clamp, and spring has been completely refinished. We kept the inside shiny and we vortexed the underside for durability and sound deadening. To keep the black theme going, we recovered the original front and rear seats in black line. Probably my favorite thing about this Land Cruiser is the color. It makes it look tough, like me. Because we've had multiple questions on our social media pages, paint color is 6H9, a Toyota color but not an FJ40 color. Another thing that sets this Land Cruiser apart is we powder coated the wheels black. This kind of goes along with the military theme. Thanks again for watching episode 14 of Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Check all the other episodes 1 through 13 out on YouTube. And if you don't have the attention span for that, our social media pages all have great content. On Instagram, we are at ProCruiser. Facebook, Resurrection Land Cruisers. And our website is ResurrectionLandCruisers.com. Be sure to come by our booth at Easter Jeep Safari. Or if you're in Moab during Cruise Moab, check us out then. We'll also be in Flagstaff, Arizona at Overland Expo. Thanks for watching this episode of Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. Camera crews fighting with the owner's wife. Yeah, you better watch out. It's kind of like fighting with a brick wall, huh? <laughs> Roll. Sound rolling. Camera is rolling and action. One of the rooms we added to the new shop edition is this. Go ahead and start over. Ready and action.
One of the rooms we added to this shop addition, I don't know what to say. Action. One of the rooms we added in this construction project was this showroom. It gives the rock crawler, the Vilstein, uh... Action. One of the rooms we added in our construction project is this showroom. Aqualoo is a fine bunch of guys up in Canada, and uh, because they're from Canada, I'm gonna do the rest. No, no, I messed screwed that up. I was I went to Italian. I was gonna do Canadian. Yes, you know, I. We have a customer who's a Canadian Italian. It's really hard to do an accent. I thought it was Canadian Irish. Canadian Irish. That's what it is. Told so, <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, Canadian Irish. Where do I pick up? Mm -hmm.